Hey, Bart Miller with Cycling Strong. We're getting ready to go to the Leadville Stage Race in Leadville, Colorado. So we leave on Wednesday of this week. So we're going to start packing right now. So we thought we'd do a multiple series of videos. This be a short video on what I'm doing to start getting ready for Leadville. So the first thing I always do is, how many kits am I going to need and what do I need to do to do that? So I go through and I find the most important gear that I need. And the number one piece of gear that I always pack with me is this right here. This is the most important. It's an ASOS base layer. You'll see a heavier base layer in my other bag that I bring. These two are super important because Leadville is a little chilly and uh, you always want a good base layer on when you're riding that day. Okay, so I go find that. I look at different things like this piece of base layer right here, Louis Garneau puts out. It has a, uh, a front that doesn't let wind in. So day two, when I'm you know climbing the big hill, it may be chillier out there. I may need something like this to block the wind but I want it to be cool in the back so that my, you know, that everything can, my sweat and stuff like that can, can escape. Think that kind of stuff through in your first round of gear that you're going to have next to your body is base layers. So if you need a heavier base layer, um, if you go into here, you'll see on this it says jersey number two right there. So jersey number two to me is this base layer right here. It's a winter piece that, that uh, ASOS puts out. It's absolutely amazing. And that's the piece of gear that I will pull out if I need something that is uh, heavier duty. Also, uh, when you're packing this right here, you want to make sure that you have the kit that you're going to ride ready to go. So this will be the kit, Cycling Strong kit. that um, I've got in the bag here. I just got to find the top here really quick. Right there. So you'll see there's our Cycling Strong kit right here. That'll be the kit I'll ride during the actual race itself. Okay, so that's packed, ready to go. Make sure you have the socks that you want ready to go and the shoes that you want. So basically everything that I'm going to put next to my body except my shoes is in this bag from the day I leave the house. I don't have to guess what I'm going to need. Then what I do is I pack this bag, which has everything marked on it. If you look right here, it's got shoes, waterproof stuff, jerseys. Jersey one, leg and arm warmers. Now exactly that. It helps you give you a cue of what you need, but at the mo most important part for this bag is, this is probably stuff I'm not gonna start with. Now I might, but probably not. This is what you're gonna send with your people who are supporting you, your support crew, is this bag right here. So that they have everything that you need. So if you come in and you say, hey, it's freezing, I need arm warmers, they grab this bag right here, they pull the arm warmers out, they give them to you. Or, let's say you come in, you strip arm warmers off really fast and you throw it to them, they know right where to put them in the bag so that you can get back, get them cleaned up, and you'll have everything put together. So it's really important that you go through and you think about base layer like this. This is just a pair of longer uh, riding bibs, which they're Louis Garneau's. Absolutely love this pair of bibs. If you don't have them, go get them. But... Uh, Basically, I'll just kind of brief you through this. I mean, for the most part, I think you get it. Um, they have zippers on each one of these. Zip that up. On jersey one, when I pull jersey one out, it's a long sleeve jersey, just like this, okay? That you can throw on really quick, but has everything you need right then and there. So, what you want to do is start to think through all of your gear that you're going to need for your body. That's all this video is on. It's just strictly thinking this through. Now, there's a lot of road races that you'll do the exact same thing. You need to make sure you've got everything. This is legs and arms. So leg warmers, arm warmers, a hat right here, and then I throw in a neck piece for my neck, okay? So that's just all that's right here. Uh, really cool ASOS hat. If you don't have it, it covers your ears really good. It's awesome. Throw that in there. Arm and leg warmers go in here. Zip this back up. Uh, waterproof stuff. I throw a waterproof pair of pants in right there. Okay, full waterproof pants. In case I want those, I throw a wind stopper in or a windbreaker right there like that. I throw in a full rain jacket, which is right here. Um, if I need that, it's ready to go. And then I throw in covers for my shoes, okay? So that I have covers in case it's 
totally raining and I want my feet covered going into that. So that'll kind of give you an idea of that kind of stuff. Now, in Leadville, I always pack a jacket on me. So you will never see me without a jacket actually on me myself. So, and that jacket that I carry, everybody's after that jacket. That's an ASOS jacket. I'll show that to you in a different video, so you'll have to go find that video on one of these series when you see my shoes and stuff that I pack in the back of my jersey. But uh, that jacket folds up best of any jacket I've ever found. It's super warm and uh, it's very effective. But if it's really, really pouring rain, I would go to this jacket right here. So then in here is just an extra pair of shoes. Uh, in case you have a shoe that has something, a cleat or something like that that breaks, extra pair of sunglasses and shoes whoop, whoop, right there. So anyway, uh, that kind of gives you a pack of just the light stuff, the most essential things that I'm going to take for me. And then I will have one more bag that I'll pack that'll have my CD shoes that I'll be racing in. It'll have my sunglasses that I'm racing in and it'll have all that kind of stuff. So we'll go through that, talk about the reason I picked that gear in our next video. So I hope this helps you out when you're getting ready to go to your events. But I put multiple bags together so that everything's super easy to grab and accessible for race day. So keep that in mind when you do that. We'll be talking to you soon.